Today, I'm going to do a instructional video on how to secure eye to the sky coils. So now we got the coils loaded. Before I left out of where we was getting loaded at inside the bay, I made sure that I put at least one strap over each coil before I came out. So that's what you see here. So then we will finish up the securement and also I'll go over the rules and the regulations of the tarping station as well. So most facilities that ship out coils, they always have fall protection in place. Here at Castilium, it's, it's the same thing. You are not allowed to be on the trailer if you're not inside a tarping station. Okay, and that's what you see behind me. So what a lot of us do, we go ahead and throw all our straps out here. Then when we want to place all our felt pads, we pull in and then we do that. But whenever you're on that trailer, you need to be inside this tarping station. I threw my first couple of straps, as you can see. Western Express policy, anytime anything is over five feet tall, we're gonna put five straps over each coil. So right now, I'm just throwing my straps, getting them ready to, to get them tight and to put my felt pads up there as well. But I know the question is, how do you determine where you throw your strap? So you have a center point on your side and you have a center point in the middle of the coil in the front. You want that strap to be right in between the two. And you're gonna do the same thing for the back one. Also, we're gonna alternate all pulls as well. So right now, all I'm gonna do is just start throwing all my straps, kind of getting them a little snug. Then I'll move into the tarpon station. I'll place my felt pads. Then I'll back out again so I can go ahead and tighten it down. We're gonna use 14 straps. You're gonna have C straps at the base in the front and the back of each coil. I usually either use an old V-board or a, a PVC pipe that I use to put my edge protectors, to put my straps where I exactly want them. Even though they're loose, I want them to be in the right spot. So all I do is just come here with an old board. If you don't have that, you can just use an a old V-board type of board to move your strap exactly where you need them. Remember, I want to be halfway in between this center and the back center for these two straps. I want to be as close as I can to that center because that's the edge that will catch that coil. So right now, all I'm doing is just making sure all my straps are in the right place. Um, it's a little windy out here, so I just want to make sure before I snug them down, you know, I want to make sure they're at least good enough to be in, in the place where I want them. And then I can just put my felt pads in there once I get in the tarping station. So, here at Western Express, we always, on our aluminum coils, we always put C-straps on the front and the back of each coil. So this is what you see here. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna find me an area where I can run this strap like this, and I'm gonna throw it around the back side of that coil. That helps keep it stable and from sliding. So now I'm at my last strap. So when I was throwing them, like I showed you, I tried to put my straps right where I need them to be and where I needed them to be on a good angle from right in between the center of the back and the center of the side. So now I got all my straps pretty much where I want them to be. And I'm going to go ahead and do this last strap and then move in the tarping station and put my felt pads up. Then I'm gonna come back out to tighten them back down and then tarp it.
So now we're inside the tarpon station. And as you can see, there's gaps on each side. But you want to make sure once you're stepping to the, to the landing area that you step all the way to that area. And don't fall in between here because there's still gap space in between. Now I made sure all my straps were snug so I could put my, have enough room to put my felt pads and my straps are placed in the right place. Again, I want to talk about the angle. So when you're putting your straps on the angle here, you want to have, you got your center point. That's your center of your coil. And you have the center of your side of your coil. You want these two straps, your X straps, to be right in the center, in between the two. Okay? So now, what I do is I look and I see when you're pulling to the other side, you got to leave your felt pad down some. So when you start tightening your strap, it moves it in a perfect position. So you leave it here. And then when you're pulling down, when you're tightening this side, because your straps are alternated, this felt pad will move right down to about here as you start tightening it. So now all I'm going to do is just place all my felt pads where they need to be. Then I'm going to pull out of the tarpon station and I'm going to tighten my straps down. So now you can see the completion of my straps where I placed them. I have a total of 14 straps. I had five straps directly over the, the coil. I got two C straps in the front. I got two C straps on, on one coil in the front. That's one in the front of it and one in the back of it. Also, I repeated the same thing on the rear coil. I got five straps over and I got a C strap in front of it and I got a C strap in back of it. And if your coils look like this once you're done, then you've done a good job. Every strap is in perfect angles. You got all your felt pads right in place and it's your job to check all your straps to make sure they're snug. So this completes the securement video for here at Castilian for the eye to the sky coil.